Today, I'm going to show you how I ground both the barrel and the cyclone on my dust collection system. The ground goes on the base, so we'll remove that. Oh, that's a nice fit. I'm sure you can hear that. We have a woodpecker trapped in the building. And he's making a racket and he can't figure out how to get through the open door. Even though this is anti-static right here, this is going to shed its static electricity to either the barrel or to the cyclone. You would hope that any static electricity that builds up in the drum would work its way up and into the ground that I'll be putting in up there. But this just assures that the drum is always grounded it's cheap insurance. Now, I gotta go get the scaffold over here and we'll get this one connected. Okay, let me show you what I got here. Got a grounding wire and various nuts and bolts and stuff to get this connected to the cyclone barrel. It's got all them open holes going around the sides. So I'm just gonna take some of the paint off one of those holes and use some washers, nuts and bolts and whatnot to attach that. And then the wire gets attached right here and onto that other one that's on the conduit over there. All right, there we go. Got a real nice ground on the cyclone itself. Same thing with the barrel down below. And at a future date, I'll be connecting the endpoints of the ductwork to the conduit as well. It may seem like overkill to some, but it's cheap insurance and I'm glad to have it installed. While I have the scaffolding here, I'm going to be putting this IVAC Pro automated dust control remote switch. I'll be putting that on the wall up there and connecting the system to that. I'm not going to fire up the system yet. Next thing after that is get this line right here completely done 
and plug a couple of the ends. Then we can fire up this dust collector, which hasn't been fired up in 20 some odd years. So a lot of interesting things to come. Make sure you subscribe and come back and see them.